Hi guys! Today I have a really, really small boot haul, but I want to preface it with, it's very small, um, but also I've used nearly all of these products. So we're gonna do kind of like a haul, a mini review of a few things. Okay, first things first. I, I mean, two of these things I've been using daily and really, really loving. The Aven um, Cleanance, 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 SPF 50 tinted um, thing. I've had this original one before, just the original SPF of this. And I liked it, but I don't know, I just kind of wasn't, I didn't, it wasn't fantastic underneath makeup for me, because um, there wasn't a lot of, it's not very moisturizing. This is definitely for people who are acne prone, which I am. I'm not, that's not true. I'm not acne prone, I'm breakout prone, which is a different thing. Since I've lived with a teenager with acne, I'm like, no, it's a completely different thing. Mm. So, um, I really like this. It's nicely tinted. Let me show you on the back of my hand. Here we go. Um, it doesn't do that thing where the more you rub it in, it gets really orange. That said, as far as I could tell, there was only one of these. So I don't really understand how that works. It's nicely tinted for me. I couldn't necessarily wear this in the winter time. A little bit darker right now because I've been in the garden a lot, even with SPF on. Um, but this, you know, works for me right now. It's only a little bit tinted, so you can see the skin through it. I don't think it's gonna make the world of difference if it doesn't match your skin. But I couldn't see any other colors than this. So please tell me if I'm wrong, but I think this is a one size fits all and it's definitely not. And I know I said that it doesn't go orange like the more you rub it in, you know, those things where it's like matches your complexion and it's just a matter of heat. Um, but it does go a little darker when it dries. So I'll put it on, I do everything. And then later on I'm like, mm, if I haven't blended it super well, like maybe today, um, I will notice like a tide mark because it is, it can kind of develop. It doesn't, it's not even necessarily that it oxidizes, but it does, doesn't it? As it dries, yeah, I suppose it does. Um, it's not the world's greatest in terms of the tint. However, I'm really enjoying it because it gives me a little bit of a base of color, evens everything out a little bit. It also is skincare. I really enjoy the event. Um, it's mattifying Unifiant, which is just, I used to think Unifiant was like a range of products from then. Unifying. So it's supposed to just even everything out. I, I enjoyed their other products from this range, the Cleanance, Cleanance. Um, I like that it's SPF 50. I like that it's a little bit tinted, but it's obviously problematic for multiple different reasons. But I wanted to throw it in there um, that I am really enjoying it. And when I picked it up, I looked at it and thought, well, it'll be fine. And I kind of assumed it was just gonna be a tiny tint, you know, just like a sun-kissed tint because it was just one product. But I was quite surprised that it is like very foundation -y in color. And um, I think if you were very, very pale, you wouldn't be able to wear that. And obviously deeper skin tones. Where are we even at? Right, so that's a hit for me, but problematic. Um, I also got the Max Factor Radiant Lift. This was to go with another Max Factor product. They were doing like buy one, get half off or something. Um, long lasting radiant concealer, all day wear, vitamin C and E, and I got it in the shade light. I wanted to try, it says, under eye skin, it instantly looks hydrated, brightened and lifted from fatigue. Yes, please. Um, I wanted to try something that would be kind of more aimed at older skin. I am 35, I am only 35, but I am noticing more and more that concealer is just like, not for me. I'm, I'm trying things and being like, this, is, this concealer looks terrible. And then when I find a concealer that works, it's such a big deal. Like this blends beautifully, it's not falling into lines, it's not exaggerating anything. Um, and I kind of thought while I was in Booth spending my birthday gift card, um, I, I probably do need to now be looking at things that are more hydrating, that are more aimed at fine lines, etc. Because the traditional stuff that I've been using isn't necessarily working. I, I think I'm gonna put together a video of the concealers that I have really been happy with in the past year or so because that's when I've noticed most of all, I almost don't wanna wear concealer because it makes everything look worse. And I'm steadily finding ones that still work. And this is definitely one of them. It's got one of those things, this might put you off. because I know with the um, Maybelline, it puts people off the sponge tip. 
Now, I would put this directly onto my face. It's my, I, I don't care. But you could just squeeze it out onto your fingertip and I know it's still a breeding ground because it's a sponge, but it doesn't really bother me. Uh, it's a good enough coverage. It's not super, super heavy coverage. It reminds me a lot of the Maybelline Age Rewind in that, you know, it's got kind of a little sheerness to it, a little bit of um, translucence. But I really, really enjoy it. I'm very happy with it. Now, this was shade 02 Light. I picked this one up in 03 Light. And this is the Max Factor Miracle Second Skin Hydrate Foundation. Hydrate, protect, renew. Coconut milk. Pre probiotic complex SPF 20. At the back, it says for healthy looking and visibly perfected skin. Formula is clinically proven to support skin renewal. Infused with pre slash pro. I don't understand this. Biotics to help skin's natural defenses. Naturally derived coconut milk for all day moisturization. Formulated without towel. Dermatologically tested. Suitable for sensitive skin. This product. I haven't tried this at all yet. I'm going to do um, a wear test on this. Someone recommended that I change the name of my Wear and Compare Wednesdays to Wear It Wednesdays. I like that. I think when we're comparing, obviously, Wear and Compare, but when it's just a solo product like this, it's going to be Wear It Wednesday. I enjoy that. So I'd love to hear from those of you who've tried it. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm enjoying all of the claims. And if it's anything like the Radiant Lift one, I think I'm going to like it. I did get it in a slightly darker color because I'm going to start tanning soon, specifically for the reviews. Um, I have some things to try and like. Going to look insane in the vlogs. Um, but watch this space because I've got some, some good tans to dry. Also, if there's anything specific you want to see me review, um, tanning-wise, let me know. Right, the last thing that I picked up, I can talk a little bit about, but this is something long-term. So the Eucerin, I think is how you pronounce this, Eucerin, um, anti-pigment. And this is a treatment. It's something, I expected it to be like a tube, and then I got it out of the box. And it's this, it's not what I expected at all. It's very, very firm, and then the brush tip end. And so I'm just kind of like brushing it onto the pigmentation that I've got that I wanna try and fade. And um, it's supposed to work within like four to six weeks. There's been really great claims about this online, really good reviews. I did post something on Instagram with like my first day, this is what it looks like, I'm gonna start using this and let you know. It's probably a bad time to start trialing this because it is about to be summertime. And my pigmentation obviously comes out with the sun even more. But also, my pigmentation is melasma, which is hormone-induced rather than sun damage-induced. So although I'm super hot on SPF now, I'm going to be wearing a hat in the garden the whole shabam because I don't want to make it worse. I could completely have everything laser off and it could come back specifically because it's hormone-related because it's all about that. And I think part of it is probably to do with the... Uh, contraceptive that I use, same thing with the facial hair that I get. At some point, I'm going to have an appointment with a doctor about these things because although I love my contraceptive coil, I do think it's probably causing me some problems in these areas. Um, so I'm just kind of throwing it out there. My pigmentation is not necessarily the same as yours. It may not do anything at all specifically because melasma is difficult to treat, uh, but I am using this and I thought I'd show you what it looks like out outside of the box. Um, so that's it, my little haul slash mini reviews. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having a great Sunday. I will see you guys on Wednesday with hopefully a review of this product. And um, yeah, see you guys then. Bye.